Ladies and gentlemen, we have a few moments to describe to you the actual process of laying the cornerstone. It's a Vermont marble. It weighs two and a half tons, and it's suspended from the northeast corner of this great new building, which will soon house the offices of the State Department in Oregon. On the surface, in the center, is inscribed 1937. The stone is about four feet high, six feet long, and an L-shape and about a foot thick. A copper box containing a number of mementos of the present time is going to be placed in a cavity in the concrete frame directly behind the cornerstone, following which the stone will be lowered into place. Our Frank Peters, Grand Master of the Masons of Oregon, will spread the cement using three trowels, one especially made for this occasion, one which was used in laying the cornerstone of the former capital in 1873, and the other, a replica of the trowel used by George Washington in laying the cornerstone of the United States Capitol at Washington on September 18, 1793. Our Frank Peters, the Grand Master, had just began to speak to the audience, describing the ceremony in all its details. We might mention a few of the articles to be placed in a copper box which will go into the cornerstone. A message from Governor Charles H. Martin to the 39th legislative session, the state seal of Oregon, a picture of the old capital which burned in April 1935, and some petrified wood from the Bonneville Dam site. 